Italian fans were waiting for this moment since Abu Dhabi 2014, the moment when Sebastian Vettel would make his first race with Ferrari and Monza. Unfortunately, the most thrilling part of the race was the post-race drama with Mercedes. So here are the top three and the flop three of the Italian Grand Prix. Top three goes to Kimi Raikkonen. Apart from that awful start which made him last after at the first chicken, it was a very good and positive weekend for the Finnish driver. With his first row since 2013 and a spectacular comeback as we are used to see from him, even if it would be better for him to stay at the front. Top two goes to Williams. They had a good pace this weekend and offered us some cold sweats at the end of the race. The only thrilling action of the race, to be very honest. Special mention to Felipe Massa, again on the podium in Monza, where he sees still very loved by the Tifosi. And top one goes to Daniel Ricciardo. Clearly it wasn't his best weekend, but he took all the problems he faced with such maturity. He clearly showed this weekend he had the shoulders to be the leader of the team and to be a, a number one Red Bull driver. With Red Bull leaving Renault next year and a possible comeback from the, up the top, maybe he can be the new Sebastian Vettel Red Bull we need for a brand new start. Now we go with the flops and flop three goes to Lotus. So much was expected from them after Belgium and their financial problems. But unfortunately, they couldn't convert the good pace they had in qualifying with both cars down at the first lap. It's a shame and we are now expecting an announcement from Renault for a possible buying of a Moribund team. Flop 2 goes to Nico Rosberg. He's the one who lost the most during that race. First, avoiding Raikkonen on the grid made him lose a couple of positions and he even had to, un to make the undercut to overtake the Williams and his whole engine blowing off made him to his first DNF of the season and now he's 53 points behind Hamilton in the rankings of the championship and it will be very difficult to claim it. And flop 1 goes to FIA. What are rules if they aren't made to be respected? F1 isn't some sort of hypster thing, it's a serious business where we shouldn't mess up with security as, we, as we've been cruelly reminded. What about Mitch Evans and Sergio Canemasas disqualified for illegal tire pressure in GP2? What about this 168 penalty places on the grid? What about Daniel Ricciardo's podium taken away from him in Melbourne 2014? And what about showing some sort of consistency? How about this, FIA? Picture of the weekend is the spectacular image of Max Verstappen's naked torso during Q1. It gave us an illuminating insight of what's inside an air phone car. So thank you for watching. As you can see, I've got a new background behind me because just white was a bit sad. Uh, I see you in two weeks for the Grand Prix of Singapore. Like, share, subscribe and see you under the chicken flag. Bye!